Hi guys, this is your boy Emmanuel Ajmaibadu. Go on YouTube and subscribe to Sahara Football. Cheers. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawoi. Today, we're going to talk about the Ghana Black Stars. The call up that is said to be made on, on Friday. Uh, Coach Otuado will name a 25 man squad, uh, which will include more, a bit more local players than from the last time out. Today, we're going to look at the possible uh, players that he will call up in the look on the local front and also talk about uh, the rumors making the round about the new head coach being uh, talked to by the FA. We'll have a look at all that today. We'll jump right into it and first look to debunk that news that was making the rounds. The FA have officially communicated that they are not seeking for a new head coach. At least that's not why they went to Germany. The FA president was in Germany and he got a lot of rumors making the rounds that he's probably looking for a new head coach for the Ghana Black Stars following poor performances from Otoado. It's not the case, according to the FA president. He went on to explain uh, that the visit by the FA president to Germany was to talk to kit manufacturers, Puma. And this is what the FA said. The GFA president did not meet with any coach during his recent meeting or uh, trip to Germany. The purpose of the visit was to engage with the representatives of Puma to discuss matters of mutual interest and strengthening our partnership. Emphasizing the importance of accurate reporting, the FA urged the media and uh, public to disregard the unverified rumors and refrain from spreading them. Instead, it advised turning to the FA's official website and verified social media handles to take news on that front. Now, I, for one, found this hard to believe. But as I always say when things like this come out, time will always reveal the truth. Time will always reveal the truth. If the FA truly did go and do that, we will find out in due time. And right now, Otoado is the man in charge, and they've backed him 100%. It's quite clear they want him to continue and to continue with the work that he's doing and finish it and do it to the best of his capabilities. Otoado is under a, a really, really lot of pressure. And Friday, the squad he will name will most likely include local players. Local players because, most importantly, that team is preparing uh, for the Chan qualifiers. A game with Nigeria to determine who goes into the Chan tournament in next year. Early next year, the Chan tournament will be held in three uh, different countries, all sharing uh, almost the same border, but it will be organized in three countries uh, in East Africa. It's going to be an interesting tournament. And Ghana will have a lot of uh, local, well, it's the Chan tournament. All local players will be in there. But for those clamoring for local players to be included in the Black Stars, you have to know what happened in the last Chan competition. It was not a great advertisement or a great promotion for them to be included more in the Black Stars team. That being said, they have very little time to prepare. It's just a little over a month to uh, the competition qualifies. And the FA are preparing them as prom prom. However, uh, there are some of them who could be included in the Black Star squad over the next over the weekend and the next international break. I'll take you through a couple of names that have been making the rounds considering uh, being considered uh, for the Black Star sports. Uh, Steven Amankona, he plays for Brecombe Chelsea. He's a forward and he rediscovered his form after an unsuccessful sp spell at the Sante Cotoco. Now the striker has scored three goals so far this season, making him the highest scoring player at Brecombe Chelsea. Frederick Asari, who is currently with Kumasi Asante Kotoko, a mainstay and a third choice goalkeeper already for the Ghana Black Stars, it's not expected to change. Um, Frederick Asari is expected uh, to be maintained in the Ghana Black Stars fold. Isaac Afo, who got his debut call up last time out for Summertex, has been one of the best defenders in the GPL. He earned his debut call up last time out. Unfortunately, he could not kick a ball. Another one here is uh, Kelvin Ose Asibe. He's a House of Folk centre-back. House of Folk discovered, rediscovering their form 
Uh, Kelvin of Sayasibe is having a tremendous season with the Phobians. He kept five. He has kept five clean sheets in nine games this season. So these are a couple of the guys, four of them actually, who could be in contention uh, to be called up by Coach Ottoado. More locally based players will be called up. And these are some of the guys we are tipping uh, to be in there. Any surprises in there? Let me know what you think in the comments section. And uh, before we end today, talk about Loris Atizigi. He is the goalkeeper with the highest amount of saves in the conference league yeah Lawrence Atiziki for all the faults that all the criticism that he has come under it's quite interesting that he's still been making a lot of saves but many people say that he keeps conceding goals and that is true with the Ghana Black Stars he keeps conceding goals and for his club side as well he keeps conceding goals as the last reliable line of defense probably not the most reliable but he has the most saves in the uh, conference league. Whatever that means, I'll leave you to judge it for yourself. But Lawrence Atizigi is enjoying life in Europe. And uh, he is with 14 saves. So that's not easy to make. So, yeah, we wish him all the very best. We wish uh, him all the best in his endeavor this season. And we hope that it will be the start of uh, something amazing. As I said, Coach Otuado uh, would be naming his squad on Friday. And uh, we'll get to see in detail who he has decided to rely on for the final two qualifier games. Ghana cannot afford to slip up anymore. Two wins and then you leave the rest to Sudan and leave the rest to whoever decides to slip up. It's as simple as that. If you don't do your part, it was in our hands. It no longer is. If we don't do our part... More or less, I've made peace with that. Some of you have still not made peace with that. But I'm just saying, for those who still have hope, the job is simple. Beat Niger and Angola, Angola first, and then hope for the unthinkable. That is all the Black Stars and Coach Otoado can do now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box on the players who are likely to be called out by Otuado on also Lawrence Atigi's form for in Europe. Does it mean much to us? Why doesn't he do well when he comes down to the national team? It's an issue of team performance in my opinion and it's not going well for them. I think a lot of work needs to be done and also the gfa uh, debunks claims of them hiring a new head coach and going to see a new head coach when the fa president visited germany your thoughts in the comments box on everything i'll see you guys in the next one have a great week